waves are symmetrical about the center line. This means that topmost and bottommost points are the same distance from the center line. The topmost point is called the peak or crust, while the bottommost point is called trunk. In this session, we are going to talk about some key terms that describe different wave properties. These include frequency, time period, wavelength, and amplitude. Let's discover what each one means. Wavelength is the distance between a point on one wave and the same point on the next wave. For example, two peaks or two troughs. Wavelength is given the symbol lambda from the Greek letter and is usually measured in meters. Wavelength can vary hugely in size. X-rays are very short, visible light is here, and FM radio waves are much longer. It is reasonably obvious that wave is regular in shape. This means that we can identify a section that can be repeated end to end that make up the whole wave. This smallest repeating unit is called wavelength. Note that wavelength is the section length that when placed end to end gives the whole wave, one crust and one trough. As waves travel, they create disturbances. The amplitude of a wave is the maximum distance from undisturbed position. It is the distance of crust or trough from undisturbed or flat position. Think of a very flat sea and then an incoming wave. The amplitude is the height of the top of the wave from the flat sea. We discussed that amplitude is the maximum distance vibrations move from the wave center line. It is the distance of either crust or trough from the center line but not both. Amplitude also tells us the power of a wave. A higher amplitude light wave tells us how bright the source is. In fact, the amplitude of the wave is related to the power that wave carries. But this will be discussed in advanced level. For time being, amplitude tells us how noticeable the wave is. We already discussed what is meant by wavelength and amplitude. Let's discover what is meant by frequency and time period. Frequency of a wave is the number of waves passing a fixed point in a given amount of time. This time period is usually one second. This is what one complete waves look like. So if this was our time period, the frequency would be five because five complete waves are present. Frequency is given the symbol F and is measured in units called Hertz. Hertz measure how many cycles per second. The formula for calculating frequency is one divided by time period, which is time for one complete cycle of wave. Imagine I stand in a fixed position and count how many peaks pass in a given amount of time. I might, for example, count 20 peaks in 10 seconds. I can then ask if 20 peaks pass me in 10 seconds, how many would pass me in 1 second? The answer is 20 divided by 10 equals 2 waves per second. I can say frequency of waves passing me is 2 hertz. It doesn't matter if you count peaks trough or somewhere in between, as long as you count the same part of the wave every time passing the fixed point. Now imagine I have two waves of different wavelengths that move at the same speed. One wave has twice the wavelength of the other. Then frequency of the one with longer wavelength is half to that of the one with shorter wavelength. So frequency and wavelength are related properties. A frequency of two per second means that each wave takes one half of a second to pass. In fact, frequency of the wave tells us how long it takes for one wavelength to pass. A frequency of two per second means that each wave takes one half of a second to pass a point. Now let's discuss time period. Time period is the time for one complete cycle or wave. In one time period, we get a whole wavelength, including one crust and one crop. Like time taken for one person to stand up, wave and sit down. Time period is measured in second. When something happens repeatedly, we say that the event is periodic and refer to the time for the event as time period. For example, the period of the earth to orbit the sun is 365 days. The period of the day is 24 hours. The frequency and time period are often confused as they are related. Frequency refers to how often something happens whereas the period refers to the time it takes to happen. 
frequency is measured in hertz, while time period is measured in seconds. Frequency equals 1 divided by time period. Below, we are given a wave. We know how long a wave is from the wavelength. So as the wave moves forward, we know the distance traveled in this time. From this, we can work out the speed of the wave. Speed equals distance divided by time. Distance is one wavelength. And we know that 1 divided by time period is equal to frequency. By substituting the quantities, we get V equals frequency multiplied by lambda. This equation is known as the wave equation and it links the key terms that we discussed in this session.